What's up guys, Josh here. Just want to give you a comparison for Harbor Tools. Actually right now I'm at Harbor Freight right now. I couldn't decide between the 8 inch or the 10 inch. I kept wondering, was a 10 inch truly that much more worth it? I mean, if you look at the price tag of, this, of the, the 8 inch, I mean 70 bucks, I mean of course you always got your 20% off coupons and if you're lucky you get 25% off coupons. But uh, 5 speed, Things seem, I mean, geez, it's a drop in a bucket. Of course, I could afford two of these. But then I kept thinking, I'm like, let's come and look at this 10 inch. Is this 10 inch truly worth double the money? And what I was figuring right now is I was looking at this going, all right, I'm, of course, I'm not going to buy two of these just to shoot a video for you guys. So please forgive me for actually being in Harbor Freight right now shooting this video. But you know what? Yeah, I don't know how many guys actually want to buy two uh, two drill presses just so they could shoot a video and give you a review. But all right, so let me tell you what I'm uh, what I was planning on doing with this. I'm actually uh, drilling little uh, precision little parts. I'm drilling drilling out knife handles right now. So I need something that actually could uh, drill, do more detail work, and I need definitely need a stop. So that's what I came in here for. And I'm looking at this one going like, where's the stop? I like this stop set, set up. I mean, it's very easy to use. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's very obvious. Your travel, double nut, sit your nut, easy. But what I didn't like was, watch this. I don't know if, uh, let me try to prop myself up here. As I came all the way down, the head actually, yeah, I can't get a good, uh, an accurate uh, shot of that. There you go. And that's not me shaking. That's the head actually moving. So as I actually hit bottom, the thing actually twists itself. What the hell? I mean, again, it's only a uh, it's a $70 drill press. But I mean, that was that that's a deal breaker right there. So I ran over to this guy, the 10 inch. It's got 12 speeds. Does that truly matter? Probably not. But I mean, what the hell am I gonna need two spe 12 speeds for? Yeah, even in my big shop, I only use about two speeds. You got high and low, and generally I'm always on low because whenever you're drilling stainless steel and hardened stuff, you got to go slow. So, what's the point in going fast? So I was looking at this guy trying to figure out was it truly worth it. And here's the stop mechanism. Mechanism. I actually thought this was okay. Let's get that to focus in. All right, so here we are. So here's a stop mechanism. You actually, and there's a little set screw on the backside. Once you tighten that, that actually allows you your depth. It goes from like 1 to 40, but what the hell is the 1 to 40? I have no clue. But uh, as I actually ran this guy, it does the same thing, but almost not at all. But I didn't, what I noticed up here was, it was a handle moves like crazy. I mean, why does that thing bounce up and down? But uh, next difference was, this is a manual release. So you loosen up your bolt. That allows you to move your table up and down, retighten it. All right, pretty foolproof. This thing, it has a little crank on here. So you can actually release your pin. The crank is crappy as heck. I mean, but it will come in handy enough. Both of these tables pivot. Loosen the bolt and the table pivots. This one's actually a nice cast iron uh, table. Will that snap on me before this uh, little sheet metal one would? Probably. Metal bends, cast iron snaps. So that uh, that might be an issue in the in the in the future. I mean, it's not heavy heavy, but it's I'd say it's a good eighth inch thick cast iron. Cast iron is generally tough, but yeah, I do fear that. But at least it's machined down nicely. But yeah, this one's actually just ran through a belt sander. Uh, Comparing to this one, actually does have a full swirled machining. So yeah, the big boy actually the the ten inch is double the price but I do feel it is actually worth the extra value that's the focus speed says three three-fifths I assume horsepower it's kind of goofy 3.85 amps this guy the this guy's obviously lighter duty so yeah get right now guys I don't know if it helps your decision but I'm going I'm actually buying the 10 inch thanks for watching guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. If not, don't worry about it. <laughs>